Sonic versus Violet and take a look at the observers here, ladies and gentlemen. When the game is finished loading here. GSFM Fishy. So apparently I was casting this tournament 13 years ago. Damn. So here we are once again. IGC Porno Sonic. Against SK Gaming Violet Night Elf versus Orc, and um, well, here we go. Best of five grand final. The winner gets 100 euros, and uh, so this is the finals. Yes, it is, and uh, yeah, let's see. Sonic with a very very strong performance here, beating a lot of Koreans. And, oh, that's me. Isn't that great? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Crazy shit of craziness. Damn. Okay. Was talking a lot of trash back then. But anyway. Um, yeah, top right, we have Pornosonic here. With the Keeper as the first hero. Bottom right, we have the Orc player. We have SK Violet with the Blade Master. The Orc Borrow and the Barracks, so pretty standard opening here for the Orc player. Keeper, I have to say, is kind of surprising. Back then you didn't see the Keeper too often here. Um, but what we did see very often was this building placement here. Hiding the Wisp behind the buildings to ensure that the Blade Master is not able to attack them. And um, there we go, Huntress Hall and Agent of War, so Sonic... Starting with Hans here, no, but not Mass Hans here, so only one Ancient of War is going up. Violet, okay, only one Orkboro here, getting the War Mill, that's rather interesting. And, um, yeah, let's see. Blade Master is out. And Keeper here with the Entangle, killing the first peon. Oh, and I think I should activate the in-game sounds here. I think this would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? And uh, yeah, there we go. Quick tier 2 attack by Violet. Only one Orc borrow. Oh, and Poner lags. But he's nice enough to leave the game right away. And Violet attacking the main base here of Sonic. Going for the Moonwell. Uh, but this Moonwell should finish to Whisper already here, waiting for the repair. And there we go. Ah! And Violet is not able to reach the Wisps here. So, no chance of getting the kill here. Keeper. In the meantime, trying to be annoying, attacking the Grunts in the main base of Violet with the Entangle here. And you should get the grunt here. Still has a lot of mana points available. There we go. Third entangle is used. Is Violet able to last hit the grunt though? No, he's not even trying it. Um, but yeah, Violet on his way to tier 2. Getting a watchtower now. Uh, player also with the tech. Blade Master coming back. Oh boy, the pick. Uh, blocking the keeper. But not too long here. But still, Violet is able to get some hits here on the Keeper. So yeah, if you're not familiar with SK Violet, he was a very young Orc player back then. And uh, yeah, one of the biggest talents that SK Gaming had in his lineup for sure. And uh, yeah, he played a lot of Sotek Cups and performed pretty well here. Mm, so yeah, it's hard to say. Normally I would say that Violet is the favorite here in this game, but Sonic played a great, great tournament so far, beating a lot of top Koreans here, and uh, yeah, therefore, could be a close one, that is for sure. We get the expansion now for Sonic. Tier 2 tech for Violet almost finished here. Blade Master focusing the keeper once again. Oh, beautiful entangle here. So the Ancient of War is also able to get some hits in. After the boots of speed here on the Blade Master. Wind work used once again. Yeah, and the Orc player can't do too much. 
Yeah, it's Twisted Meadows. Did I say something else? Buddha? But it will welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, Tier 2, Beast 3, and Spirit Lodge. And production. Shadowhunter is the second hero. Two grunts out now for Violet. Sonic's expansion is about to finish here. And let's see. We'll launch now going up. So yeah, not too much happening here in the beginning of the game, that is for sure. At tier two we get not a we get the Beastmaster now for Sonic. With the cool beast here as the first skill. Uh, the Blade Master staying close to the Night of Player. Okay, Violet pulling the creeps here at the Goblin Merchant. Ooh, Sonic. Getting ensnared here two times. One hunt taking quite a lot of damage here. Is Sonic going for this creep camp here? Kinda tough to commit to this camp when a Blade Master is around. Oh boy, and the Shadow Hunter are now also joining the fun here. And well, Sonic still trying to get some kills here, but I think now he is going back. Yeah. His Tree of Life is ready, so he needs to creep his expansion here real quick. Otherwise, it would be a waste of time here. Uh, let's see. Blade Master is still around. Two Ancients of Lore going up for the Knight of Player. Is Wilder taking the opportunity to creep the Goblin Merchant? Yes, he does. Going for the four straw Warlord right away. Let's see. What is he getting here? Rob of the Magi. That is not too bad here for the Shadow Hunter. Oh boy, but now Sonic is going in here for the creep check and tangle on the Shadow Hunter. This could be the end of the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter gets the TP transferred. And he TPs out of there. Sonic. Oh, okay, gets the tomb here. It's no tomb of experience. Tomb of Intelligence for the Night of Player. But, um, yeah, was a risky creep camp, and Violet gets kind of punished for that. At least he gets the big item, but now Sonic has the opportunity to creep his expansion here without being scared of the Blade Master. And there we go. Tree tanking the damage, Knight of Army dealing the damage. Like we all know and love it. Beastmaster with the Talisman of Evasion. Scroll of Healing here. As well as the TP. All two now for the Beastmaster. The first Dryads are out on the battlefield. Orc player now creeping the mercenary camp here. Rock Golem is pulled out and surrounded. Potion of Greater Mana for the Shadow Hunter. That is a beautiful item to have. Especially when a Shadow Hunter reaches level 2, 3, and so on. And we have the level 2 already, so Healing Wave is here. But besides that, well, getting the Berserker Strength upgrade, getting the Kodu Beast. Two Raiders, two Grunts, two Spirit Walkers. Sonic with a mix of Dryads and Tons. He's getting a Polish magic upgrade and he's attacking to tier 3. So, getting ready for the Druids of the Claw here. Oh, Blade Master selling some items here. At the Goblin Merge on the left hand side, he's pulling the creeps and he is going for the creep camp. But, Sonic is on the offensive here. He is going for the main base of the Orc player. Heating wave used here by the Shadow Hunter. Let's see which item. Oh, Valyrius Loot of Accuracy. Not the best for the Orc player, but a good thing that he gets gets it. Oh, and he gets a Tomb of Experience. Oh, <laughs> level 3 Shadow Hunter. Oh boy. Okay. But Violet needs to TP back quickly here. Because he already lost the first Orc Burrow. 
There's the TP. Oh, super offensive TP here. The keeper instantly is around it. And Pornasonic is forced to TP out of there. Only the summons staying there and getting killed right away. So yeah, Violet is supply stuck now. 49 out of 40. Sonic has the expansion, which was not scouted yet. And he is now breaking up keep. He has the first root of the claw, adapt upgrade already finished. Uh, still is waiting for his tier 3 tech to come through. A player's forces are under attack. Violet creeping the Blade Master to level 3 here. Well, we'll see level 5 going down. Revealing the gloves of haste here. Oh, and Sonic creeping the Yoga Magi here on the right hand side. This could be a nasty creep check. If Violet is going in, and he is. And I think Sonic should TP out as quickly as possible. Yeah, there we go. Pulls the TP right away. I don't think that he's losing anything here. Archer gets away. And yeah, that's a critical time now for the Knight of Player. Um, he beats the Druids of the Claw. Otherwise, yeah, he has a tough time fighting off the Origami. And Violet knows that. And that is pretty much the reason why he is going on the offensive now with towers even, okay. Three watchtowers in production. And they're outside of Sonic's field of view here. So if they're going up, this could be pretty, pretty good here. Okay, master upgrade is in the pipeline. Ooh. Angel of Lore is getting attacked, but the Master of Grab finishes. Okay, 60 supply for the uh, for the Knight of Player. Oh, and he's going in from the back. So the Watchtowers are getting annihilated here. Or are they? Scroll speed you see by Violet right away. He's trying to eat the first Kodo Beast. Gets the Kodo Beast. Uh, gets a bear with the Kodo Beast. And Tangle's going on. The first healing wave rattles through the Ark army. We get three ends now here by Sonic. Level 3 Beast Master. Still with the wand of Mana sitting in his inventory. First scroll of healing used here by Violet. And healing wave gets used. Scroll of protection going off by Sonic. Oh, and the first watchtower finishes the second one now as well. And they're in the range of the hunts. Doing so much damage here by the Blade Master. Almost getting killed. Healing Wave saves him. Uh, but just barely. And the Blade Master once again is revealed. Oh, he's getting entangled. He's getting focused. There's a Hex on the Beast Master. There is the next Healing Wave here by Violet Shadow Hunter. And oh, Sonic fighting in those towers. This is not the best idea ever. But what can he do? He's Violet is focusing the Beast Master. And Violet gets the kill here. And the towers killed all of the Dryads. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Healing Wave, the next one on the Blade Master and Tangle is here. But there's just nothing Sonic can do now. He is down to 29 supply. So fighting in those towers is super, super, super scary. And yeah, Sonic... Giving up, asking for the map veto here. While it immediately vetoes Turtle Rock. And uh, yeah. This means the Ock player takes map number one in his best of five game. Tree is down. And Sonic, just thinking about the map, he's going to veto now. Or picking, I should say. He vetoes Terina's stand. Go, go, Echo Isles. Okay, 